When I created the solid gallium slugs, I thought afterwards, you know, these things might shatter. So I created a different type using an aluminum pellet and filled the cavity with gallium. Then I thought maybe those might fail, so I came up with a plan C slug. When a slug is shot, it's going from 0 to 650 miles an hour or more by the time it leaves the barrel. That's a tremendous amount of g-force or g-shock. So I just used a big blob of silly putty as my mold and I wanted to create a kind of a shorter, squattier, more durable slug. A slug that doesn't have the complex shape of a pellet that has, you know, potentially weak spots in the center. If the other shapes were to fail, this was going to be the shiny knight in armor that was going to come in and save the day. Okay, we got 20 credit cards from the wife. Don't show the name or number. <laughs> They're no good. That's why we're out here. Oh, okay. Good luck charging on these, boys. Hello. Hey, what direction are y'all shooting? Credit cards. Hit it. Oh. That blew up good. Yeah, dude. It just landed. That just landed. I didn't know it was still up there. Yeah. It blew the whole bottom off of it. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> so the slug that I thought would have the greatest chance of surviving the G-Shock turned out to be the weakest slug. It broke into little pieces and essentially turned into buckshot. None of the pieces actually hit the stack of credit cards too, but it did hit the pressurized two liter bottle that had glitter and black chalk in it. But this is exactly what I thought the pellet shaped slugs would actually do. Now of course lead would never do this because it's a soft, flexible, malleable metal. When gallium goes from a liquid to a solid, it, it actually crystallizes, so it is a really brittle metal. And you missed them, you missed them. Now only one of the pellet shaped slugs broke in half, but the other four held together perfectly fine. And that to me was just absolutely amazing. Right. It works, didn't shatter. It's like Jiffy Pop. It's always nice when a plan actually works out and I prove myself wrong. Not only did the gallium pellet shaped slugs survive that incredible G-Shock, they were actually very accurate too. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.